Hello everybody, I'm Valentina. Welcome to my video diaries. Today we're going to be attempting the 24 hour reading challenge. I'm so excited to try this. I saw Tara Michelle do it and I was like, I want to try that so bad. I don't know which books we're going to be reading, but I have two that, three, I have three that I need to finish up. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go with those first and then we're gonna move on to like full reads. Let's get to it. <laughs> page 368 if you know you know I saw that shit coming a mile away like obviously duh I prepared for it and it still wasn't enough I'm picking up throttle after finishing the fine print I started this a few days ago and I realized that I probably shouldn't read that much into it because I was doing this so I, I stopped <laughs> to be stopping I'm on page 152 as you can see we're down to 19 hours and 44 minutes I got too cocky that's the problem so I'm gonna go to sleep and we'll continue tomorrow well today it's happened to me I feel such disappointment <laughs> I used to be able to not sleep like like I was a pro now I'm just wounded like what happened anyway I'll see you guys when I wake up with 16 hours to go I just finished throttled not my favorite read I'll tell you that this is gonna be the first read of the challenge let's get to it pages in it's not trapping me it's not bad I like it it's just not getting me yet so I'm reading a little slower than I normally would and I'm gonna go eat dinner and then I'll continue holy fucking shit oh my god I what the fuck am I reading oh my god I'm on page 265 it's almost one in the morning I need to go to bed but I can't put it like this is nuts. I want to read more so badly. I just, I can't wrap my head around this. Like I thought I knew where this was going and I need, I need to go to bed. We have finished book one. I cannot believe this book. I have so many thoughts and none at the same time. Like, yes, there were parts that were very like predictable that you could see coming. The last part of the book, like literally the last hundred pages, my heart was racing. Like I really thought it was going to come out of my fucking throat. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I think this is, I don't want to say it's my favorite in the series because I think that the first book is the best one, but this one is probably the second one. Am I devastated? Absolutely. But at the same time, I just loved it so much. I'm going to read the rest of Marriage for One, hopefully, before I have to go to sleep all right excuse my hair it's very humid today and I've, i have to deal with the consequences of that it's seven in the morning i finished marriage for one last night i set up i stayed up very late last night am i gonna regret that probably don't care marriage for one i don't know if i don't want to be harsh but after finishing as dead as good as dead and going to that I probably should keep my thoughts until they marinate. But it wasn't bad. I just very underwhelmed, you know. On to the next read. Nine hours to go. We're starting book lovers. I'm really loving that I'm getting through so many books because I had so many on my TBR and I'm just I'm getting it through. Like I love this. Unlike the other ones, this one has really captured me. I'm only a few pages in, so like you know, it's too early to judge. It's good. I'm I'm liking it. I always have this like issue with Emily Henry's books. I liked Beach Read, but people we meet on vacation just didn't really do it for me. And I know that's controversial because people love it, but 
I think this one, this one's doing it for me. I, I, too early, like I said, but I'm liking it. I cannot believe I finished this with the timer, like literally at the exact same time. I thought I was gonna go a little bit, I kinda did, cause I did have one small page left, but it was perfect. It was literally perfect. We have finally reached the end, thank God. I wanna, I wanna address a few things. I managed to fuck this challenge up so badly within the first two hours of it. I don't even know how, but I did. Uh, first of all, I chose the worst starting point because I was convinced I was gonna stay up all night. Like, I was convinced, like, nothing was going to stop me because I'm used to that. I'm used to staying up to, like, five. Like, it's nothing. I didn't do my research on the challenge. I just kind of got excited because I, got, I saw Tara Michelle do it and I was like, okay, like, I want to do that. It's so cool. And then, you know, I fucked up because I didn't do my research. Uh, I didn't know that there was two ways of doing it, so there's that. I'm very excited to talk about these books because for some reason, I don't know if the universe aligned or if I was just in a very good like picking mood, but I picked so many good ones to read or to finish during this because it, it was, you know, I have a lot of opinions now. So let's start with the first one. I started reading this in my last vlog in my first two weeks of February vlog. Uh, and I was so excited for this book and I am so happy that I actually really, really fucking enjoyed it. It was really good. I just didn't know what I was walking into because I, honestly I didn't look up what it was about or anything like that. Uh, I just kind of saw people suggesting it and I was like, oh, cool, great. All right, you know, it's one of those books that like you kind of have suspicions on because TikTok, but at the same time, it was really good. I liked it. I was very close to not liking him. I'm not gonna lie. There were a few times where I was just kind of like, Ugh, about things he said, but like it was fine afterwards because, you know, we would find something out and we're like, oh, okay. There was a point where I marked, I think it was this blue tab that I was just like, okay, strike one, motherfucker. I have a problem connecting with the male characters for some reason. I, I just, I'm not someone that like falls in love with the male character unless you're like Sejanus Plinth but you know what I mean like you have to really grasp at my heartstrings for me to be like okay man you did that. Uh, Lauren Asher really got me with this one so yeah points to her for that. I read Throttled on my Kindle. I already returned that so I don't have it to display. Just like I adored this one. I hated Throttled. First of all, I don't want to be mean with these reviews or anything like that or my thoughts. Not even reviews because they're not like even properly worded. These are people's work. I don't want to disrespect anyone ever. However, this book <sighs> made me question a lot of things about myself and what I what I'm willing to put up with because I'm someone that even if a book is bad or I'm not really enjoying the book, I'll I won't put it down. Like I want to finish because I just want to I just want to finish. All right, I can't put it down. I can't DNF. Sometimes if it really irks me, I'll have to, but otherwise not. Not for me, all right? God, how I wish I was one of those people that could just DNF these fucking books because god, the dialogue was enough to make me want to DNF. I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably gonna read the entire series because I'm awful and I can't, I just need to know how to set boundaries. That's, that what he, that's what needs to happen. Next, we had Marriage for One. I started this book at least a year ago or two years ago, I don't know. Before I got my Kindle, I had the Kindle app on my phone and I would read on there all the time and uh, I started Marriage for One. And then I forgot about it. So when I got my Kindle, I was like, oh, I'll finally get to it. And then I didn't. And then this happened. And I was like, okay, I have 200 pages left. Like, I remembered. It, it had been at least a year. And I remembered exactly where I stopped and how everything was turned up. Because I really liked it up until that point. Uh, but the ending really disappointed me. I was devastated. Because I really liked these characters. And I really liked the story. But, um somewhere along the way it just kind of fizzled out for me i don't know what it was i can't really point to it it was just 
it didn't work. Maybe it was the fact that I started it so long ago and then I started, I don't know, but I just didn't like it. All right, next read. Oh my fucking God. I loved this book. I loved it. I love the series, but this book, I am bold enough now to say it, this one is my favorite. I didn't really know where it was gonna go. I, as soon as we figured out some stuff, we're just like, okay, well, where is this gonna go? Like, we're already right here, so what now? And then it gets even crazier, and you're like, holy fuck, oh my god. And then you're just, it, those last... 100 pages had my heart beating so fucking fast but it was lovely anytime a book has you like that that's great i love that and last but not fucking least oh my god emily henry i have words i have words for you because you did it you did it you finally got me this is where i die this is where i get death threats the Emily Henry girls do not play about their books. And I get it now. I get why. I wasn't an Emily Henry girl. Whoa, okay, I know. Wait, put the knife down, all right? Listen, I read Beach Read first. I loved it. I liked it. It was great. I liked the characters. I liked the story. It was nice. It just didn't really, like, do it for me, you know? Like, it was like, all right, like, this is great, but I'm not getting the hype. Beach Read is my favorite right? Okay, wait. I'm really nervous. Why am I, why am I so scared right now? Like, anyway, so then I read People We Meet on Vacation, and I was not very happy with that one. I was not very pleased with that one. That one was a little, ooh, for me. So I, I was surprised to find out that people were saying that that one was better than Beach Read, so I was like, mm, we're not reading the same book. Um, yeah, her characters are very, very likable, so that's like a plus, even if you don't really go with the story, it's the characters are very likable. Like the stories as well, but the characters are what like really grasp you. And then I read this one. I have a new Emily Henry ranking. This one is my favorite. I cannot believe, I, dude, dude. I cannot believe I put off reading this for so long. Like, I, I hate when I do that because they end up being my fucking favorites. But this was so good. This was so, so good. Charlie and Nora, you know how hard it is to get me to be like, oh my god, a man? Very hard for me to like a male character. Like, it really, really is. But Nora, Nora is my new sunshine, my heart's my everything because i just connect with nora so much on so many things that i i just i loved these two so much fuck i forgot that i can't give out spoilers but there's uh there's something that happens in the book that i was just very worried that she was gonna do towards the end and i was like please don't please don't do this to her or me but it was it was so lovely i loved it uh I cannot wait to reread this. Like, it's one of those books that I finished. I was like, oh my god, I wish I could erase everything from my brain and then reread it because it, it was just that good. From the minute I started it, I kind of just knew. I was like, oh, you got me. All right. Because it's very hard to kind of grasp me in the, in the first few pages. But with this one, it was very easy to just get me. It, it was very, very easy. Um, But yeah, Emily Henry did it. She got me. I'm even thinking about reading happy place after this so who knows maybe i'll reread the other ones and give them a chance another chance that being said i that it doesn't mean that i didn't like beach read i love beach read it just wasn't like the it for me this one was okay so don't come for me but yeah so now my ranking is book lovers beach read and people we meet on vacation hopefully i'll finally get to happy place and i'll have another i don't want to move like i want to i want to stay with this one as my favorite so i'm very i don't know if i'll start happy place. but i'm i'm excited like i'm excited to read more of her work and yeah i'm i'm thrilled overall i'm very happy with the outcome of this challenge definitely helped to get through my tbr i have a lot of books in my tbr that i just i keep buying books and then pick a book that i recently bought or one that I bought like a really long time ago and then it's a chain that I never end. So I'm on a book buying ban for now, 
I just bought three, so <laughs> I'm on a book buying ban. I'll definitely try to make a 24 hour challenge each month, but I won't share all of them because that's too much. It was really nice. I really enjoyed this and I hope you enjoyed it as well. Uh, I wish I could have included a lot more reactions to this one, but unfortunately it was just me sobbing half of the time. Anyway, I'm gonna go update my Goodreads. I really hope you enjoy this. Uh, let me know if any of these books are in your TBR or if you already read them and what are your thoughts, if we share any opinions on them. I will see you guys next week.